Hello everyone, Mars back here with Belinda Combs, doily challenge entry and a Christmas exchange. And the next thing I have is a very pretty card. It goes this way. And it looks like she's burnt the edges. Boy, when I do that, I almost set the house on fire. <laughs> but it's very pretty. And let me see. I'm going to keep this one private to myself. Thank you, Belinda. And this one is very beautiful. A beautiful angel. Look at her little sweet face. And she's got a present in her hand. It's a beautiful dangle trim. It's the appliques. Some organza appliques and little snippets of flowers here. And some beautiful lace all the way around with some pearls. And on the back, oh, my favorite color. Some more beautiful lace. It's just stuffed full with lace. And it's made of fabric. It's very soft, very pretty. Thank you, Belinda. Down on that pile. Everything has a tag, and I, I usually just put in sticky notes. <laughs> so I, I'm getting better. I really am. And it says, hi Merlin, just a few no novelty Christmas decorations that are Australian themed. Hope they make you smile. Your friend always, Belinda. Very pretty card. Little monkey. The pretty bow. Let's see if I can get this untied. I'm just going to slip it off. This is kind of a, a nice trim. Tied into a bow. The eyelash trim. Get that over there. Let's see what we have. Are you going to make me laugh? Oh, he got broke, but I can fix him. Oh. It's a little kangaroo. This is easily repairable. I, I can fix almost anything. Isn't he cute? Got a present from Australia. Little kangaroo. Let me put him over here. And this one got broke too, but that's okay. He's repairable. Let me put him back together here. And this is a little, let's see if I can get it almost right, a little mouse. This is part of it here, and I think the little kangaroo sat to the side. Let's see if I can get this up right. Like that. Oh, that's adorable. Don't worry, I'll fix it. So cute. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Me and Belinda's been uh, sharing our cultures and um, our national nationalities. So I've got some things set back for her. A pretty little card. This one's made out of wood. Little Santa Claus. With some real pretty, oh this is one of those snowflakes. Those sparkly snowflakes. And on the front it says, have a Merry Christmas my friends. Very pretty bag. It's all decorated with the lace trim at the top. A little flag here. 
and a doily and some red roses. I love red roses. And some more doilies and lace. And another red rose, a couple red roses and some pearl sprays. And on the back she's got a little ornament. It's a glass ornament. And let me see if I can get into this without, I think I can cut it right here. Very pretty bag. Set that aside. A couple of items in here. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's a spool. This spool her husband makes. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. A pair of scissors with some twine and a button. More buttons and um, spools at the bottom. It's been done in paper. She's put some paper around it. And she's got some little stick pins at the top. And a safety pin with some burlap. So very cute. Oh, thank you so much. I don't have a spool. Oh, and a little... Um, um, measure. I'll glue that back on. It's cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. And the paper is a, a pattern piece. Um, you know, the old patterns we used to use. Very cute. Thank you. Oh. Cut the bag. Your cellophane bags are thicker than ours. They're harder to get into. And these are clothespins. The old-fashioned clothespins. You guys ever have to use these? I did. Aren't those cute? You did a good job on these. So cute. Oops. One over there. Another little bag. My goodness, I feel like it's Christmas. I've never gotten so many presents for Christmas. And this is a tag. Beautiful angel. Did you make this, Belinda? That's beautiful. Light lavender color. And it says Merry Christmas on the back. Gorgeous. And another tag. Little ornament. Christmas ornament. Gingerbread. Merry Christmas on the back. Boy, you spent a lot of time putting this putting this together. And another bag. Pretty pink polka dot bag. Oh, I ripped the bag, but that's okay. Now with some more ornaments. I'm not going to take this out since I'm running out of time again. There's another wooden ornament, a snowman. On the back. I wouldn't have thought to use these uh, wooden embellishments to make an ornament. Hmm. Good idea. And another one. Little jingle bells. 
in the back. This is a burlap and with pearl trim at the top. Another ornament. Oops, sorry. There we go. So pretty. The yellow organza flower and a pink one with pearls and some lace. And this is the last one. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> I am so happy with this. I don't have nothing that has my name spelt. Oh, I love this. These are, um, are these Scrabble tiles? That's adorable. Thank you so much. She's got the wooden Scrabble tiles with the letter M. And these are, or, um, um, oh, I, I drew a blank. Anyway, and a uh, paper flower and a pearl on the silver um, plastic snowflake and on the back she's got a small doily there's some eyelash trim I like this eyelash trim it's very soft Let's see if that one can come down there we go oh Belinda that is so cool I'm gonna have to hang this up and keep it out I'm not gonna put it away I like that Thank you so much, Belinda. Okay, let me get you added up on the uh, doily challenge. Um, she sent it all in the same bag, so I can keep it separate. Um, so Belinda did a video response. Belinda, you're number 13. So you get 10 points for that. And for goodies, one, two, three, four, five, six goodies. And the doilies, oops, one, two, three, four doilies. So, so that's 12, let me write this out on the paper, 12, 8, and 10. You got 30 points. Let me check it real quick. 10, yes. 30 points, Belinda, and you're number 13. Thank you so much for all the doilies you sent and all the goodies and the extras and the Christmas. I've got to get your box ready to send out to you. I've got a couple little things for my little Miss Olivia. Um, I've also got a, a little video I made for her and uh, I'll be making her more. But this one's going to be called Fall Colors in Michigan. So I'll try and get that done tomorrow. Okay, everybody, I hope you go visit Belinda. I'll have her link right down here. Just, just click on the box, the little arrow down, and I'll leave her the link and go visit her and see what she's doing. She's a very, very nice lady, and I love her to death. Thank you all for coming in. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.